No doubt most of you by now have seen recent videos with regard to a player called APA Ernest from the clan APA and the allegation that he's using an aiming bot or a cheat bot or whatever you wanted to say. Well, is he? Let's have a look a bit closer. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and before I go any further firstly I'm not doing this video to accuse anybody of intentionally cheating or purposely cheating. I'm not casting any dispersions on the player APA Ernest. Um, I've actually known the player. Um, I've played in games with him and you know I've always known him as a good player. But I know there's a lot of videos doing the rounds at the moment that are pointing fingers in that direction. And yes, it's generating a lot of traction. And on the face of it, <clears throat> okay, it looks suspicious. I totally agree. But I'm not aware of any type of aim bot doing the rounds at the moment. I must admit, now I know there are companies out there that offer such mods, and I know that they're available for certain platforms, but this particular player, APA Ernest, plays on touch. When I haven't seen a bot, an aim bot, available for touch yet. But this type of shot does look highly suspicious, I must admit. It's not an impossible shot, however. It, it can be done. You know, these are snapshots. All he's doing is leading the target. Those type of shots can be done. And I have no problem with those type of shots. I've played those type of shots before. But let's get back to this aimbot thing. Now, I've looked on the internet and I found this. This is an aimbot. This is a hack site, basically. And as you can see here, it offers this hack for platforms Windows 7, 8.1 and 10. Nothing about Android or iPhones or, or, or any of those sort of things, merely Windows. So, and this is the only one I can find, and it does give you the things that this particular player is being accused of, which is land all your shots with deadly aimbot, um, stay steps ahead with player ESP, etc, etc. But that doesn't mean to say that he's using such a thing. So I've been keeping my eye on YouTube and some very notable players with very notable YouTube channels like R1B of the Clan Raid and Pantifly of Loka, two immensely talented players who I have a lot of respect for, have both done videos, um, with R1B being slightly more vocal, to be fair. And, to be fair, both players are immensely more knowledgeable about Blitz and the mechanics of Blitz than I ever will be. And I'm not questioning them, funnily enough. All I'm trying to do is bring a balanced approach. And whilst on the face of it, yes, I fully accept it. Some of these shots do look suspicious, like the one you're going to see in a moment, which I'm going to slow down into a super, super slow-mo. That this shot does look highly suspicious when we look at it like this, it looks like, well, how you know, I mean, you're seeing next to nothing of the tank. And I played the Death Star, and you know, there's no way I can pull off shots like this, not in my wildest dreams. But that's not to say they are impossible, and this is where I'm struggling. I'm struggling because I can find no provider of any form of aim bot for a touch device, coupled with the fact that just because the player pulls off some seemingly difficult shots doesn't necessarily mean that they are cheating. However, I could be wrong. But more importantly, so could everybody else. And it could be that this particular player, APA Ernest, is just incredibly talented. Who knows? So here's another shot that's caused a lot of confusion and I've gone through this again and again and you can't see the tank and all of a sudden you can see the tank and it looks like an impossible shot, it looks like it goes through a wall. He actually doesn't go through a wall, the Leo one is actually sticking out slightly 
then it does look like it's an almost impossible shot. And maybe, you know, for majority of the players it is. But this guy is not a majority of the players. He's a good player. And even with the aimbot, he's still a good player. And I'm not saying he has got an aimbot, by the way. I'm just saying, you know, he's a good player. And, you know, it does look a tricky shot. But I will guarantee you, lots of players have pulled off those types of shots before. And maybe you just got lucky. Uh, who knows? Realistically, who knows? And as I said, I mean, I can't for certain say, yes, he's cheating. All I can say is that, you know, certain shots look suspicious. Now, again, this shot looks suspicious, but again, he's a good player and players of his calibre will do shots like that. And you'll think, why? You just don't understand why. It doesn't mean to say it's an aimbot and he's cheating, but I understand where people are coming from. I just think it's, well, slightly harsh, maybe, I don't know, is the honest answer. If, I mean, a lot of people have said a lot about this shot. Now, I've done shots like that, to be perfectly honest with you, and all he's doing is leading the target. That is all he is doing here. And there's no nothing wrong with that shot. He's just leading a target. He can see where the tank is going, you know, and he's just leading it. Nine times out of ten, that shot may not have hit, but that one time it does, and he's put it onto his YouTube channel, which is where all these videos are coming from, by the way. And that's not to say he's cheating or using an aimbot. And just to prove the point, this is me in one of the Japanese TDs, and I'm going to pull off a similar shot in a Japanese TD, and you will see that here. Maiming, can't see the tank, yet I hit him and I destroy him. Now, I for one do not use any form of modification. I don't use an aimbot or any type of hack. Yet, you could look at me and say, how on earth did you pull that shot off Fuji? It's an impossible shot. You can't see the target. You, you can't see anything. He's behind a big rock. Yet, you pull off an impossible shot like this. Which is no different to the clip you've just seen with APA Ernest in the, against that Leo in the Death Star. It's not cheating, guys. It, it, you know, I've pulled shots off like that before now. It's not impossible. It's improbable, and I got very lucky there. But it's not impossible. Not wow, well, I don't think it is. It's just showing that when he led a target there. And I, it's a fine line with accusing somebody of using an aimbot and criticising somebody's ability. Because I've seen some truly amazing players and, and I've wondered, well, how do they bounce? And how do they do that? And how do they do this? Well, basically, it's because they're better than me. <laughs> they know how to play the tank. I mean, that's normal. I mean, a lot of people have said about that one, oh, you've just ammo racked. It's a normal ammo rack. I mean, I've ammo racked things. In a, I've, I ammo racked two tanks in, the K, in, a, in a smasher, one after the other. Now, this one, however, I do find suspicious. And this is the one that's really questioned. How? Now, I've put this back down in super, super slow-mo. Because for the life of me, I can't work out this one. So, you can see the target there. And you can see it's an IS-4. And an IS-4 is a difficult tank to pen at the best of times, especially when he's hauled down. Now, if you watch, the reticle goes over. Nothing's highlighted on the tank. And then he fires through a building. Now, it could be just the way he's recorded the video. It could be the way he's edited the video. I don't know. Um, but when you look at it in real time, which we'll also do, it just doesn't look right. So this is the same clip, same shot, but this time it's going to be in real time. So you will see how it really looks. So, wow. Now that one to me is the most suspicious clip I've seen. I'll be honest with you. Although this one is also slightly suspicious. <laughs> and we'll look at that in super slow-mo also followed by real time because it, it seems a bit weird. So here we go. I mean, it's an STB one. Um, it doesn't seem to be aimed on it, yet he pens. Uh, and that's a difficult, difficult shot to make, to be honest with you. That's not to say it's impossible, it's just to say it's bloody difficult. So let's have a look at that in real time. And as you can see, I mean, in real time, it's like wowzers. 
So, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's right to call out a player for cheating um, when such a thing will lead to serious, serious consequences. Unless you are 100% convinced. And I'm not 100% convinced, realistically. I feel 75%, to be honest with you. And maybe it's the lawyer in me, but the lawyer in me says, well, 75% is not enough to condemn somebody, uh, realistically. What, um, you know, it, it looks suspicious, I agree. It doesn't look right, I agree. Is it really a modification? Is it really an aimbot? Has he modified the game or purchased something to modify the game to make him better? and give him an advantage. If so, it's outright cheating, and yes, action should be taken. But I have no evidence of that, and nor do you. What we have is our opinions, and it's great and correct and proper that we should call out cheating, but in instances like this, we shouldn't be outright pointing fingers saying, you are a cheat, get banned. We should be debating the subject more. Now, there's already a lot of noise about this, doing the rounds on Discord and on the internet. And I really implore you guys, don't send hate out to the, to the player. Um, it, it's, not, it's not fair, especially if he is not a cheat. Let things take their natural cause. If Wargaming undertake to look at this a bit further and decide that he is guilty of cheating, then Wargaming will take appropriate action. There's no need for you to do it. Anyway, I have been Fujit. All the clips you have seen are from um, APA Ernest's YouTube channel. So I apologize to APA Ernest for stealing his content. I hope I don't get copy striked. Um, by all means, comment and debate below. Please don't send any hate. Uh, it, it, my channel's not about that. And you know, we're not about that. We're about discussion, and that's all. Um, if you feel that it's suspicious, then say that. But if you feel that there's more to it, then say that too. If you've got any decent replay, by all means send them to me, fujitsblit at gmail.com. If you haven't pressed subscribe yet, please do. It's a lovely thing to do. As per usual, I'd like to thank all my Patreons for their kind support. Without them, videos like this would be a lot harder to make. Um, I will say my usual thing as well. In the current circumstances, guys, really stay at home and stay safe. Have fun on that battlefield and a happy tanking. And, you know, if you can pull off shots like this, then fair play to you. If not, well, you know, it happens. <laughs> I know players who can't hit a barn door from five paces. But then again, on the flip side, I've made shots that I thought should have been impossible. Anyway, stay safe. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about. Having fun, being happy.